react one more B25 video here. This one was a surprise, a very pleasant surprise. Uh, this is the Agertz Stealth Chapel, uh, the Agertz Military Stealth Chapel from them. Now, this one, uh, they just announced this one as a, at the time of the shooting. They just announced this like a day or two ago. Uh, they, when, they, when they said they were sending the the chapel and the Bucks team troop, uh, I was expecting those, and then it showed up, and this was included in it as well, which is why you're seeing this a few weeks after the uh, the original videos. And that's because this is, like I said, this is the stealth team, and much like last year with the Stronghold and the Speeder, this is their online and event exclusive figure this year. The first chance you're going to get have to get this is going to be at San Diego Comic Con uh, coming up in a couple of weeks, and then it will be. I know it's going to be at Wonderfest. It's going to be at a, a toys and a comics and games convention in Hong Kong, a couple of places in China, and then uh, at the end of October, it'll be up on the B25 shop uh, at b25.com. So, like, if, if, you, if you don't get a chance to get out to Comic-Con or any of the other conventions that they will be at, uh, this will be available exclusively to their store uh, at the end of October. But like I said, if you're interested, if you, if you were there last year and got the Stronghold and the Speeder at San Diego Comic-Con, this is their offering for this year. And it's really cool. It's, 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 very, it's the same mold as, the, uh, as the, uh, the Jungle Chapel that I reviewed previously. Done in in what what is like I said maybe may have become my favorite color scheme in this uh, stealth color with with the kind of orangish brown the dark gray and the black and 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 then kind of a lighter gray highlights. Functionally, it's exactly the same as the Jungle Chapel. You do still have to build the doors, which again the second time you do it is goes way faster than the first time once you know what's going on. I do like the theme of the dots. Uh, the original speeder, uh, the the pilot, both his helmet. And his and the marking on the speeder had three dots on it. Uh, the stronghold has five dots here on the visor for the mech, as well as on the pilot's helmet in here. And then the chapel here has uh, two dots here on the orange on top. Inside, you can see there is another square helmeted dude with two dots on his helmet as well. And just like the jungle one, it opens up. It's got these little blast shields that flip up. Uh, and then it's got the, uh, the little support feet that come down for the uh, for the side deployment doors. Ah, come here. It's always this side that gives me trouble. There we go. So those will support that. You can kind of get them to stay out, or you can let them hang down, but uh, th that helps support it, uh, for, keeps it from sinking due to just gravity. It's got a little hatch here on the back that opens up. You can have a little dude standing or sitting in there. And then uh, there's, there's, there's some pegs in there, although I don't think this piece comes up at all. So uh, I'm not sure those pegs are. But uh, this flips out. And just like before, uh, you got the same posable guy here. This gun comes off. You could put a different gun there if it has a post. But uh, let's push it up from the top. But this little hatch opens. The turret rotates freely. You can take this posable guy out and have him... Uh, his hands will clip onto the pegs on either side. You can have him man the turret. Now there's a foot peg in there as well if you want to peg him into the top. So he, he, while he's driving, there's a seat over here for an extra trooper. You could have a second guy riding up here in the front. You could probably get a guy to sit. If you, if you did it right, you could probably get a, a yeah, you can see you can get a you can have a dude sitting in here ready to pop out the back uh, once deployed in the chapel. We'll go ahead and put him back down here. Come on, grab the grab the handle, dude. You can't drive. Both hands on the wheel, dude. No texting and driving. Although you may have text inside that helmet. I don't know. It's a pretty techy looking helmet. So you open that up, close this up. Although you can do it with it open as well, but I actually want to want to close these up first before you close this lid because there's a couple tabs here on the front that hold it all together. So close those up. And then these there's a little slot here on the front that these tabs go into. Close that up. There's the tank. Just like before, it has those same pop them out doors. Again, you kind of need to put, slide it down a little bit here. 
That also puts it at, at ground level for the treads if you slide it down on this post, versus if you leave it up, there's a little gap down here, which could be deadly in a war. But it's got the sliding and extendable doors on each side. See, the, the, his, his pegs work or slide much easier, but he's on both sides of the tank, so you can defend your troops as they flew about. And again, when you fold these up, this one also has... Uh, the jungle one was just all solid one color aside from the logo. This one also has its logo here on the side. Uh, these panels, the B, I believe these are the, yeah, these are the B panels. There's A and B panels, and then the C is these little uh, connectors in between. Has the silver detailing on it. So it's just a little visually uh, more impressive than the doors over the jungle one. Just something, just a visual distinction there. Uh, see, that's why you start at the front, because you do it wrong. You, you probably won't, but <laughs> it's mostly a note to myself. Uh, that's why I made that note in the jungle one. When you're folding it up, it helps to start at the front so you know you got it going in the right direction. And you just fold them back in. Again, start at the front. I'm going to do it wrong. Slide it back up. Slide it in. Slide it up. Slide it in. Let me begin. Um... There we go. And there he is in his compact mode again. And just like the jungle one, you can attach both the stealth stronghold and stealth speeder or any stronghold to it. Um, and like I said, even the strongholds have a little tab, so you could have a whole chain like of, uh, well, uh, oh, this, this comes out, this extends out, plugs in. You could have, a, granted the way that the way he's sitting is not, not one to catch here, but you could have a whole chain of a chapel pulling several strongholds into battle. So if you have multiple stealth strongholds, if you want to match, uh, you can have him tow them. If you have several of just different colors, you can have one chapel towing them all, which is really kind of cool. So there's that train all together. And just as a comparison, since we have them here, uh, there's that one next to the jungle one. Same train, same... Stronghold, Speeder, and Chapel all together being towed. Uh, here they are. Here's the, here's the whole stealth team. I believe this is all the stealth stuff that's been released so far with the Bucks team troops, guys. And that's a nice looking set all together. I, I really like unified color schemes. I like how it distinguishes the armies. I like that they all have kind of variations on the same basic technology it just makes it feel real worldy i guess like i could i could totally see all these different factions fighting in all of these machines and team up with the marines or whatever and, and have big battles like if you if you were following my twitter uh when these first came in i did actually after i finished putting the chapels together i had fun posing them in like a big fight for the living room type battle scene there's the whole group unified together. Now the chapel, he comes with the same kind of accessories that the jungle one did. You get the uh, the large knife and the gun with the removable clip for that the stronghold can wield. And there may be some other bigger mechs coming. I've seen some of their other stuff coming that looks really neat. Uh, some, what is it? I'm trying to think of it, Hades, I think. Uh, looks really cool. But like it's, I may have swapped the guns, but uh, you can see this is a darker black plastic versus the gray. Uh, that the jungle came with. I may have used the, I may have swapped the, these large guns between the two sets. You can see it's darker black. Um, and then you've got more weapons. And also I believe, I believe this rocket launcher is supposed to have gone with a jungle set, whereas the stealth team has one of these chain guns that we saw in the, uh, in the uh, Bucks te troop team set. But you get, there's a rocket launcher, a chain gun. You get two more of these connectors, just like we had. We, we came with the strongholds in the previous one. So if you want to connect more arms or whatever, any of them that use the standard peg that attaches the treads or the arms into the body, can you can use those to add more, peg more things in uh, that don't use these smaller peg holes. He does have several smaller peg holes. So if you wanted to, you could attach these to the side here. Actually, let, let's try this. Let's try this. Um, we'll go ahead and take this, put it down like that. You can, you can twist these in a little farther just for the ease of, of swapping things out. I'm not going to push these all the way in. But so there's two connectors there. Um, you, you get the same like little Lego hand connector 
and the dual connector to attach weapons and such to the side of the vehicle. Um, and then another rifle, another smaller rifle. Basically, if you buy these sets, you're going to have a, a lot of armament for your dudes. So, so let's take this. Now, I showed earlier how you can have these treads come down and form kind of, or I showed in the, in the jungle video, just to raise it up, kind of make it into a gear tank, if that's your preferred nomenclature. Whatever you want, you can raise it up just a little. There's a, there's a hinge up here. It rotates uh, like a waist joint at the big, big peg. You can bring these down and untab them to give it a little bit more kind of chicken leg mech. Although the more weight you add to this, it's not super sturdy, uh, and you really have to balance it just right if you're gonna if you're gonna connect them like that to support the whole thing. But like I said, anything that uses those pegs can use these big connectors. So why don't? And I don't know why I didn't do this with the jungle one. Let's go ahead. Let's pop the uh, pop the arms off of uh, the stronghold here. And now, so you see now you can pop this on. And again, here's here's where here's where you start adding too much weight to really do this extended uh, leg here. Um, let's see if we turn it this way. Get some support here underneath it. Can just come back far enough to support it up. Well, in in, in this ca in a case like this, you can always, uh, as I mentioned before, you can pull this one out. Getting these pegs in and out is scary. Uh, bring this to the back and point it straight down. It gives you a little bit more wiggle room here to support the back. Should this should rotate out more? Oh, there we go. This arm off of the stronghold. Transform it. <laughs> and you, now you have kind of a full on gear tank mode before the chapel. Although <laughs> the arms are almost too much weight to, for these things to handle. I said, be cool if, if it would be cool if we could extend this just a little bit more. Or if like, you could hang this down. Although I guess, oh, you know what? Hold on, because it uses the same connection system. Oh, I'll pop that off. Oh, that's easy enough to fix. This because this comes out. Pop his leg back on. Now again, I don't know how well this is going to support it, but you can give him the actual uh, you can give him the actual legs legs from the stronghold as well. And uh, although these may sit a little too far back to really, although yeah. Honestly, just, just getting these up in there may be a problem. Never mind, I may be wrong on that. Because um, you got to twist it. Oh, there we go, we did it, we did it. Okay. So yeah, that's... These, uh, oh, that's why. Though. You have to kind of angle those back if you want to get them to fit under there. There you go. There you go. Look at that dude. He's going to come mess you up. Mr. Stubbies. There we go. Oh, he's leaning backwards. So yeah, if you want to give him a stronghold feet, there you go. This, come on. There we go. Let's go ahead and put his original legs back on. legs, but we're going to treads back on. How are we doing this again? Okay, there's there's a way, I may, I may have to twist this around, because I found that, like, there's this, even though it looks like it's universal, you may have to bring this down, rotate it at the waist, and then bring it back up. Well, now you have to get to rotate the whole thing, because you want you want these two black pieces, you want this shiny silver piece to come up against the, the belly of the tank. There we go. And then 
Yeah, so you, there, there is a certain way to do this. So if you're having trouble getting these to tab in, they shouldn't tab in without much effort. So if you're having trouble, try spinning that whole assembly, spinning around here and then spinning it around at the waist so that's facing up and then it should peg right in. And then we'll go ahead and stick this back tread back on. And there he is, back to normal, safe and sound. There's the Stealth Chapel. Like I said, this was this was a pleasant surprise, and it's cool to have it. Uh, you can get it. Like I said, the, the first availability will be at San Diego Comic Con 2018, uh, coming up in just a couple weeks, and then uh, it will be available at several conventions over in Asia, and I know in China and Hong Kong, and there maybe I think one in Japan, and I think one in Singapore. Uh, you, I'll, I'll put the link down in the video description. You can see, you can find out where the announce is and where it's going to be. And then if you if you if you miss out any of those, for a lot of my American viewers, you're probably going to go to if you, you know, Comic Con's really your best bet. And if you can't go, uh, this will be available uh, at the end of October on the B25 website. Uh, it's their event and a website exclusive for the year. So. Uh, so yeah, check that out. Very cool, very neat, the B25 Stealth Chapel.